The Hack the Box Certified Web Exploitation Expert is what they call their first advanced Hack the Box certification. It's all about web application security, and it goes really deep on the subject material. Like, take a look at this related job role path, which you practically can think of as like the course to prep for the exam. This is the Senior Web Penetration Tester Job Role Path on Hack the Box Academy. And look at all this stuff. Injection attacks, NoSQL injection, auth bypasses, cross-site scripting and cross-site request forgery, blind SQL injection, deserialization attacks, logic bugs, and a ton more. These dig into both white box and black box web app pen testing. Both the job role path and the certification cover the perspective of when you have the application source code and when you don't. And a majority of these are all tagged with the hard difficulty. And that's why they say this one is advanced. It is for the senior penetration tester. Now, again, I'm not a penetration tester. I'll say that up front. I don't do that for my full-time job. I like to explore different vulnerabilities and capture the flag competitions or different CVEs in the real world, but web app pen testing is not my occupation. With that said, I do love the learning and the hands-on approach to all things cybersecurity. Even like as a blue teamer or defender or a purple teaming mindset, if you like that vernacular, it's all about upskilling in cybersecurity in a practical and real world environment. And Hack the Box makes everything hands-on and practical. The CWEE, or the Certified Web Exploitation Expert here, builds off some of the other core knowledge from the Hack the Box CBBH, the Certified Bug Bounty Hunter, and Hack the Box CPTS, the Certified Penetration Testing Specialist. But CWEE is stand-alone. You don't need any of the other Hack the Box certifications to access and attempt this one. Anyway, if we look at the modules for the Senior Web App Pen Tester job role path, they do shine the spotlight on some topics that I think are often overlooked. I don't know about you, but I don't usually see XPath injection being one that's talked about, even just as an example. Of course, they have a handful of JSON web token material, even some OAuth and SAML, which is certainly a bit more advanced than you usually see for web app security training. For cross-site scripting, it's not just the basic cookie cutter syntax, but they're going up against the same origin policy, cores misconfigurations, bypasses to dig into internal APIs, content security policy, and more. Something I think you practically never see is the HTTP and TLS attacks. Like, they're showcasing padding Oracle attacks and some more obscure tricks against the protocols themselves. I've never even heard of Poodle and Beast, let alone Crime and Breach. There is web cache poisoning, there is session ID exploitation, log injection, DNS-based data exfiltration, WebSocket abuse, SSRF, deserialization gadgets, race conditions even. There is seriously just so much stuff. And B5Null really said it best. These give a god base on how flaws in codes can lead to exploits. Thanks, B5Null. Obviously, all of their training material comes with hands-on lab environments, an activity, and an exercise, including a virtual machine, like in line with the content, so you can test your knowledge right away. This, by the way, is something that I seriously recommend you take notes on. The Hack the Box Academy does have a fantastic global search feature that you can literally just search for anything, and it finds it across every single module everywhere. But I gotta say, it is a lot of text on Hack the Box Academy. You gotta do a lot of reading, and that may not be for everyone. Maybe that's not your style of learning, but even using it as a reference, you can, but it's best to build out your own reference. I'm a huge fan of using Obsidian, trying to copy down each and every single payload that I've used in practice, so that when it comes time to using it for real, either in the exam or real work, I've already got a snippet that I can just tweak and tune to the environment. Basically have stuff ready for you to just copy and paste. And then you know that it works on your virtual machine with your installed tooling because you've tested it beforehand. That saves seriously so much time. Anyway, these modules for CWEE include some really legit stuff. And I know it's easy to think, well, hey, it's just a collection of vulnerabilities, all the usual stuff you see in web security, but it's not just that. These lessons give you such a baseline of web security assessment skills. 
like a grown intuition of what to do in which situation, all alongside the techniques and tradecraft to really do those attacks, like implement those exploits, alongside you learning from all of the demos and exercises. I got to admit, I think teaching that intuition is really hard to do. So hats off and kudos to Hack the Box for that. I will say though, that this does take some extra legwork from you. Like I mentioned building out your own reference. Do that and then build out your own sort of playbook. Like whenever you find yourself in whatever scenario, like you're up against some text box, just a regular input box, and you have no other clue or indication as to what to do or what to try. Well, if you have a checklist prepared, like, hey, have I looked for command injection? Have I looked for SQL injection? What about XPath? Is there cross-site scripting here in the application? Is that an option? Where does the data go in this portion of the application? Where is it used to reference later, if at all? Combining all of that with your own catalog of payloads to try keeps you moving so you don't hit a wall, because that is the worst thing in an exam or in real work. Anyway, those are just some tips and tricks for you, if that's helpful, I hope. Back to the material though, it is literally 15 modules in the Senior Web App Pen Tester job role path. That's over like 240 sections and 11 different knowledge domains. That's wild. And remember, I really want to stress this point. It showcases both the black box and white box perspective. The whole second half of the job role path covers that white box pen testing approach, where you have access to the source code of the application. You get to focus on source code review, debugging, and of course, custom exploit development, but even patching each individual vulnerability. You do need to 100% complete the entire senior web penetration testing job role path to be able to take the exam. I've been working through the modules, but here's the thing. I have not yet taken the exam. I'm sorry, I really, really wish that I could sprinkle in some teasers. I know that I can't really talk about it anyway, but I haven't gotten it started yet. Between the NomCon, Capture the Flag competition, and travel, and work, I, I could throw whatever excuses in the book, but I just haven't made time for it. It is a big time investment, right? You have 10 days to take the exam in a dedicated environment, and in those same 10 days, you have to write and upload a full professional report, where you document all the vulnerabilities you found, exploits you used or wrote, and even patching and remediation recommendations. I gotta admit, I haven't done it yet. I do desperately want to, though. And that goes for any senior pen tester, web app pen tester, web developer even, security engineer or code auditor or bug bounty hunter, I think you should try it out. Don't let the hard tags or the advanced tagline scare you away. It's ultimately all about learning and sharpening your skills. And I'll let you in on a little secret. You don't have to have passed an exam to have learned something. With all that said, if you're interested in the certified web exploitation expert and the senior web app pen tester job role path from Hack the Box and Hack the Box Academy, then give it a go. Kick the tires, explore, see what is out there, see what's new for you, and level up your skills. There's a link in the video description for you to get started, and thank you so much for watching this video. Please do all those YouTube algorithm things, like, comment, subscribe, and with that, I'll see you in the next video.